The first rig I'm going to show you is a high-low rig, and I'm going to use 20-pound test monofilament leader. I'm going to pull a few feet off of here. And I like to put a sinker on the bottom. So I'm just going to do a surgeon loop, as they call it. On the bottom here, just a smaller one. Because I just like to use one ounce bank sinkers or the ounce and a half. I usually don't go heavy than an ounce and a half off the beach. Make a little loop here, stick that through, tighten that up. Pliers, I like to use a needle nose plier when I'm tying rigs. Tighten up that tag end. Cut that off about a sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, staying on. Make sure that's nice and tight. You got a loop on the bottom, you want to put a dropper loop, so go up about eight inches. Make a dropper loop. One, two, three. That's all I usually do for dropper loops. Three turns, sometimes four. Stick that through. I like to moisten the ends where the twists are. Make it tighten up easier. I either grab the loop with my teeth or I have a hook or a, or a or a nail sticking up out of a piece of wood that's our first drop loop go up another eight inches make another drop loop one two three stick the center of that one through moisten the ends a little spit Pull that through, tighten it up, put a swivel on top. Smaller swivel, doesn't have to be that big. These fish are, these fish are, uh, you're not going to get a fish heavier than 10 pounds off the beach, if that. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five turns, run the end of it through that loop that you had in your fingers there, snug that up, tighten it, cut the tag, leave about an eighth of an inch on the bottom, sixteenth of an inch, and you got your two dropper loops and your loop on the bottom for the sinker. So let's get our hooks on. I like using 6-0 bait holders. They don't get you don't gut hook fish with 6 hooks. And I'm still catching shorts with them, so. I'm tired of digging small hooks out of fish's throats and stomachs. Cutting off the line, leaving the, leaving the hooks down there. Pass it through once, turn it, pass it through again. Tighten it up. Second loop. I just like to pinch the end. Give it the, give it the center. Mark. Grab another 6-0, stick it through the top, Th through once, give it a turn, Th through again, tighten it up. There's your high-low rig. I use this a lot off the beach. I use my two different pieces of gulp, sinker on the bottom, bank sinker, one ounce. Ounce and a half, I've only found ounce and a half in these round ones. Has a little ring up top. Push that loop through. Stick the sinker through once. Tighten that up. Loops are easy to change out. Just give it a push. Grab the end, stick it through again. Change out your sinker if you need to. You want to put gulp on there. I like a six inch mullet, swimming mullet gulp. You want that to sit straight on the shaft. You don't want that to be turned down by the throat of the hook there. So you you want the point of the hook to stick through where the where the throat of the hook starts. So you stick that through the center and you keep keep that point of that hook centered in that gulp as you're pushing on. The gulp will start to walk its way around the throat of that hook. Then you poke it through the tail, right in front of the tail section there. And now you have it up on the shaft here nice and straight. With a with hook coming out near the bottom. Now you have another hook up top. 
I'll use another mullet up here, or I'll use a grub. I catch a lot of fluke hitting, hitting with these grubs like this. Shrimp, a couple different sizes of four inch. You're gonna get a five inch or a six inch shrimp. They hit these pretty good. Same thing, you line it up on the shaft to make to see where the, the hole pokes through. The, the hook pokes, pokes through, the throw of the hook. Get it up in the center there, give it a push. It'll walk its way around by itself. Once you get to the point where you want to hook the poke through, give it a turn, push it up the shaft, nice and straight on the shaft with the hook near the back where the tail is. Gulp, I mean, uh, fluke will always grab bait from the back. They, sometimes they'll grab that tail and you'll, you'll feel that tug. Relax your line a little bit. That fish will grab it again and boom, set that hook. So let's pull these off of here and I'll show you the next rig I'm going to tie is going to be with a bucktail on the bottom. So that's your high-low. I use that a lot on the beach. Now with a bucktail, you can do the same thing. I got some line sticking out here already. I'm going to pull a little more, make sure I have enough to work with. We're going to make the loop on the bottom for the bucktail. Make that loop a little bit bigger. So you can work the bucktail through there easy. I always like to find the center of the loop, give it a little pinch, come back up here, make a little turn, grab it, stick that through, tighten that up. You always want to tighten up the tie again because that's going through that knot too. Clip that, eighth inch, sixteenth of an inch. Stick it through, so that way that knot won't fail. Go up about eight inches, start your dropper loop. One, two, three, stick the center of that through that loop. Moisten those in, a little spit, put it on the hook, in your teeth, whatever. Pull that through, snap that tight. You're gonna have the loop with the bucktail, you're gonna have the loop with the hook, and you're gonna put your swivel up top. One, two, three. Four, five. Put the end through that loop there. Give it a little snug. Not all the way. Tighten it up like that. You can cinch it down with your thumbnail if you want. Make sure that's tight. Eighth of an inch. Now you got a loop on the bottom and teaser for the top. Take your bucktail. Center of that, pinch it. That way it goes through the eyelet easy. And open that up. You run your bucktail through. Tighten that up. That's your bucktail on the bottom. Up here you got your teaser. Pinch that. That goes through the eyelet easy when you do that. Six O hook, six O bait holder. Run that through, turn, through again, whoop, through, turn, through again. Tighten that up. And there you got your bucktail rig. And you can put a gulp in here. You can put grub. That gives you a nice long tail sticking out. That's always nice. And then up top here, with your hook. Bucktail, a grub, uh, I mean um, swing mullet, grub, shrimp, shrimp, this uh, new penny colored shrimp, I've caught so many fluke with this, it's, am it's amazing how well this works, it's the same thing, you want it to uh, 
You want it to sit on that shaft nice and straight. You don't want that hook to poke through down here and have the thing turned. So you kind of scope out to where that hook is going to poke through here. Looks like this, like the second fold. So again, you start in the center. Push that on, keeping that point centered as you're pushing. And then when you get down to the point where you want the point to come through, you turn it, let it go through. Slide it up the shaft. So now you have a nice straight presentation of the shrimp. And you have your hook sticking through. And like I said, I caught a lot, a lot of fluke with that. That's a very good bait. That new penny shrimp, I love it. See how good those bait holders hold that on there. You really got to give it a little pull to get that off of there. So that's your uh, that's your bucktail rig that I'll use off the beach or off the boat. I'll put that aside. Another good rig that a lot of guys like to use off the boats will have a a hook smelled on the end. Of a length of leader coming off of where the sinker is so let's take a little bit smaller of a hook here this is a 4-0 I wouldn't go any smaller than that let's snell that on the end two three four five six turns in my other video, I show how to tie knots, and it shows the details of how I just snelled that hook. Slide that up the shaft, tighten it up, cut that leader. And I'm just going to get rid of the coils in this. There you go. And do about a foot of leader. Put a drop loop for a sinker. One two, three, center that through, lubricate it, grab it with your teeth, put it on a hook, whatever you got, that's for your sinker, and go up about eight inches, get a little more line here, start another drop loop, one, two, three, Get the center of that through. Lube. Pull that up. Tighten that down. Let's get a swivel up top. One, two, three, four. Get that down in there, snug it up a little bit, tighten that, cut that tag, cut that tag, now you have, you have your hook on the bottom here with a nice length of leader, you have, you have your sinker, Probably want to use something a little bit heavier off the boats, usually a two ounce is what I use if I'm drifting the bay. And then up top, I always like to have something swimming up top. Sometimes fluke are aggressive and they're not going to just nose around the bottom and wait for something to come by. They're going to they're going to keep their eyes up on up on the water column and they're going to see something swimming they're going to jump up off the bottom and grab whatever they see swimming by and you'd be surprised what they grab so there's the there's the teaser i would call it up top and you got your sinker on the bottom and then you got your leader line dragging behind you with either a gulp or you can put a minnow on there spearing whatever kind of bait you want to use a lot of times drifting they'll see this lone bait running along the bottom bouncing off the bottom and they hit that nice you can also use a rig like this on the beach i use a rig like this on the beach when i'm fishing 
for fluke if I want to put some sand fleas on the hook. And believe me, fluke eat sand fleas. Every fish eats them. If you see them on the beach, pick a couple up, pop them on your hook here. Use this rig where you have your sinker and your length of leader. A couple sand fleas on this. Always have your gulp, spearing, whatever you want up top here. That's a great rig if you're using, if you're drifting in the boat, of course. Or, like I said, if you're going to fish with sand fleas off the beach, you're going to catch fluke with sand fleas. Believe me, I've done it. I do it a lot, and I will continue to do it. So there you go. Those are, those are the basic fluke rigs. Another rig that you'll do off the beach, if you want a live line, if you want a live line minnows, oh, I'm not going to use that. I already have a 4 hook here snelled on about an 18-inch length of leader. And I like to take a three-way swivel snap, they call it. It's got the snap for the sinker. And you'll take that length of leader here. And you'll put tie that on the end of one of these eyelets of the three-way using a two three four clinch knot like we've been tying all along snug that up tighten it and take off that tag leaving an eighth of an inch sixteenth of an inch whatever at least Oop, there you go and that's good if you're uh, fishing with live minnows. You hook that minnow under the chin or behind the dorsal, and you got a live minnow on there. Smaller hook, light enough for, for the minnow to jump around, move around, swim around. And then your, uh, your little snap here. Throw a sinker on. And then you snap clip this or tie this to your main line and you got your sinker on the bottom and you got your live minnow swimming around moving around you're either going to dead stick this or you're going to cast this out and, and just kind of move it along slowly uh, drifting in with this live minnow on there and uh that's a, that's a good rig to use for that situation so there you go you got your live line rig you got your you got your bottom hook drag type rig with the teaser up top and you got your bucktail with the teaser up top and you got your high low rig which I said I use a lot off the beach Two hooks sinker on the bottom there you go go catch some fluke man <laughs>